a permutation that's called distinguishable permutation. So here, what happens is, let's look at an example. There are nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters. And we want to form a word. It doesn't have to really have a meaning, but we want to know how many different words that we can come up with. So it's going to be what? Nine times eight times seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, right? So for the first letter, you have nine to choose from. Once you use one, now you have eight to choose from, seven to choose from, and so on. So what do you get? That is nine factorials, probability. So that is 362,880. 362 and 880 words. Okay? So with nine letters, you can come up with 362,880 words. Isn't that amazing? That's why the state, you know, license plate has only three letters and three words, but it covers the, the whole population in Maryland who has cars. Didn't you ever wonder how we can all have different plates with only six numbers? Yeah. This is why it's making it possible. But here, look at this. Butterfly, it's still nine words, but think about it. Would it, this T, the first T going to the second T, and second T going to the first T make a different word? No, it's still butterfly. Then what happens if the number letter is repeated to make the same result? You have to divide by the number of time it repeated factorial from whatever you got. So here, what you're doing is it's 9 factorial divided by what? How many t's are we, do we have? 2. So you do 2 factorial. Meaning, 2 factorial is what? Half, right? 2 times 1. So it's only half of this, which will be 181,440. 181,440 words. These are called distinguished for permutation. The order still matters, but there's some that will not change the outcome. Yes? Factorials. It's a product of number that you multiply until that number becomes one. You decrease it by one. What about bumblebee? So it's nine letters again divided by, is there any number? Letter repeated. B, B, B. So now you divide by three factorials. E, E, E. Three factorials. Is there anything else? No. So this time you do nine factorial. Divided by, what's three factorial, guys? Three times two times one. So this is 6, and this is also 6. So can I just divide by 36? Or I'll do divide by 6 and 6. If you want to just divide it once, make sure you put the parentheses. So now it is 10,080. 